When you picture the Ice Age, what comes to mind? Snowstorms, frozen pines, or woolly mammoths wading through wasty powder? Well, let's unpack that image, because it's not quite right. The world that dominated Beringia during the Ice Age wasn't an endless forest. It was the Mammoth Steppe. A vast, unique ecosystem of dry, windy, arctic grasslands. Imagine a prairie but under a perpetually cold sky. Here, the snow was low, the soil was hard, and the relentless wind kept shrubs from growing too tall. This environment sustained massive herds of mammoths, bison, horses, and woolly rhinos for tens of thousands of years. To understand how, we need to look at its seasons. Winters were harsh, sure, but the dry air and strong winds meant snowfall was surprisingly thin. This allowed grazers to use their tusks and hoofs to clear away the snow and find the cold season grasses hidden underneath. Then, when spring arrived, the landscape exploded with life. Buttercups, yarrow, and wild pea flourished, providing essential protein for the mammoths and their companions. This boosted milk production for their young and kept the herd strong and agile. You see, mammoths weren't just forest elephants with winter coats. They were finely tuned grassland navigators, migrating from ridge to ridge, following the seasonal green wave of fresh forage. Life on the steppe wasn't without its dangers. Lions, wolves, and scimitar cats lurked, but the open terrain gave the herds an advantage with long-distance vision. Calves were kept safe in the middle of the group, while older females and bulls remembered migratory routes, leading the way to vital salt pans and safe river crossings. Even their tusks were like natural archives. Growth rings in the ivory recorded the seasons, times of stress, and the environmental conditions they faced, much like a traveler's passport. So what happened to this thriving world? It wasn't just a simple story of freezing to death. The real turning point was a combination of warming temperatures and more moisture. As the ice sheets melted, rising humidity transformed the dry plains. Snowpacks got thicker and fluffier, bearing winter forage. The grassland slowly gave way to shrub tundra, a landscape that was less suitable for the great grazers. On top of these, the arrival of humans brought advanced hunting strategies and new uses for fire, further tipping the scales. The ledger that had long favored the giants of the Ice Age shifted from black to red. This was an ecosystem built for cold, dry air, and it lost its edge when the world became warmer and wetter. So, next time you think of the Ice Age, remember the mammoth step. It wasn't about surviving epic blizzards. It was about reliable, calorie-rich resources delivered on schedule by a landscape that understood the rhythm of the seasons. Thanks for joining me on this journey. If you found this interesting, hit that subscribe button. And let me know in the comments what Ice Age topic you'd like to see decoded next.